What are you doing? <clears throat> I'm leaving all this in. <laughs> Please don't. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So a few videos ago, I did a house walkthrough on a house that we bought for $15,000. And maybe some of you said, you know what, that's a little bit too much. It's too expensive. So in this video, we're going to walk through a house that we bought for $7,000. Just over $7,000, like $7,100. I'll put it right here what we actually paid for it. But yes, it probably looks like $7,000. And I'm gonna walk you guys through this entire house. It's crazy what we found inside. I can't wait to show you. First thing I'm gonna do is take the camera from Rihanna. I'm gonna walk around the outside of the property, show you kind of the problems that we're looking at already and what we're getting into on this project. I will talk a little bit about the numbers at the end of the video on what we think it will cost us to repair this thing. I'm not sure if we're gonna flip it, but that's something else I wanna talk about. Multiple exit strategies, and we have that on this house, and you should always have that as well. But anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to take the camera from Rihanna and walk you guys through this thing. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. I'm going to hang out here with Bee while she's eating her lunch and John walks through the house. I already saw it. All right, as always, I'd like to start out by showing you guys the neighborhood. The neighborhood is fine. It is an area called St. Albans. It is a little bit out of the way, so it's not the most desirable area, but it's fine. Houses still sell here. Well, let's not kid ourselves. Houses will sell anywhere right now. I could probably put this back up on the market right now and get $40,000 over asking price. <laughs> but really, anyway, the first thing wrong out here is obviously this retaining wall. It has seen better days, so this needs to be taken into account when we do our budget. It's holding back this huge hill here, but that's not my least favorite thing about this. Uh, the parking situation is fine. You actually have off-street parking right here along the street, but I hate this about this house and any house like this where you have this really long walk to get up to the house because I have ADHD really bad, and right about here is where I'll go, oh, I forgot my keys and I have to run back down there. Or, oh, I forgot something else in the car and I have to keep running up and down here. So that's why I would personally hate all these stairs to get up to the house. You do have a nice little side yard here. It comes with a little shed. We'll probably get rid of that if we flip it. Again, I'm gonna talk about some of the exit strategies at the end of this video. And then you come up to this little deck porch area. Again, it's seen better days. And remember, $7,000. I'm going to have to keep repeating that several times in this video, especially once we get inside. All right, so the deck structure itself seems pretty sound. I mean, it seems pretty solid, but it will need uh, recoated and some type of stain or paint. You do have a nice little porch swing out here, but again, that will probably need refinished. The windows are looking a little bit shady here. They're not super old, but not new either. And then you're going to go over here. More junk, which will be a repeated theme on this video. And not much, if any, of a backyard. HVAC unit's pretty old back there. And at least you do have this retaining wall right here. But out of that back bedroom right there, I'm going to show you a problem with that as well. And we can't actually enter right here because this is still locked up. So I'm going to walk around to the front of the house. And we're going to go in the front that way. Oh, and real quick, before we go inside, I wanted to show you the roof. Again, it's going to need completely replaced. And that's going to have to go in the budget as well. What's my famous saying? This house is going to need everything. All right, so now we're up to the front door here. And remember, before we go in, remember the theme here, $7,000. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's do this. Actually, real quick, I'm going to turn my flash on. Boom, it's on. All right, let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All because two people fell in love. And actually a common theme in here is all the wedding stuff has been left behind. So I don't think that that sign still holds true. But right when you enter here, this guy greets us right here. Poor little Stuart here. Didn't make it. That's sad. And this is your living room. So uh, yeah, we appreciate all the stuff left behind for us. So obviously the paint is fine. We'll just leave the paint just like this. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody likes a little bit of a blotchy paint job and where it kind of changes colors right down here. That's kind of in style now, so that'll save us some money. The ceiling fan is great. We love these two little things hanging right here. All right, so then you got your dining room and you got your kitchen over there, but we're going to save those because that gets really good. Um, and I'm going to first go over here. We'll just kind of check out what we're working with here. We got a bunch of biodegradable bags. Maybe uh, all of my uh, people that follow me that are in the medical field because Rihanna can tell me what these are used for. Actually, don't. Keep it to yourself because it'll probably make me gag. And then got a bunch of wires here and some bookshelves. It's crazy when you just, like see all this stuff 
and it's all useless. Every single thing is useless, and uh, that's unfortunate. I usually like to find some goodies. Hey, but there is a queen size mattress. If you guys are interested, just message me down below and I'll ship it to you. Uh, let's start the bidding out at 500 bucks on that. That looks like a plush. That thing's going to fetch a top dollar right there. And then I'm not sure what this is. What in the world are these things? I have not a clue. Somebody, anybody in the comments know what these things are? I'm not going to touch them. And then what do we got over here? What do we got? What's this? What's this? Slap your granny hot sauce. Oh my gosh. Somebody PayPal me 20 bucks. I'll chug it. I'll chug this whole thing. That's a deal, right? Oh my gosh. All right. Then we got over here just some clothes on the ground and a dresser. And I didn't show you this, but it does have like a nice little side yard here. I'll give it that. It has two side yards. So while it doesn't have much of a front or a backyard, it actually does have a decent side yard. This isn't good. All this cracking. Remember, $7,000. All right, so that's one of the bedrooms. We're going to keep going back here. It's going to get a little dark, so I won't spend too much time back here. This is a second bedroom. I never understand this either. It's like I understand a mess, but do you have to cover every square inch of the floor with the stuff? That's what I don't get. So anyway... Oh, and here's that retaining wall issue I wanted to show you. Oh, my gosh. That ain't good. See that? And, guys, retaining walls aren't cheap. So you remember that. Blah, blah, blah. You remember that. When looking at these houses, it's definitely something you want to keep an eye out. And it's holding that whole hill back. There's a gun safe. That thing seems in pretty good shape. Maybe we can sell that. Oh, my gosh. There's just so much stuff in here. And it's all like, it's just all useless stuff, except for these shoes, man. I could probably sport those. Those are pretty nice right there. All right, so that's it for the second bedroom. Now we're going back here to the bathroom. Oh, check that out. Y'all can't lie. That vanity is not half bad. We could probably keep that. So there you go. There's a win, and that light bulb looks pretty new. See, it's not so bad, is it? There it is. The Forbidden Mountain Dew. Anybody want some of that? No? Okay. The uh, tub is going to need completely refinished. That's uh, that's really bad right there. That's a new window. There you go. See? You guys, you know, you got to see, like, the good and stuff. And look at that. New window. That shower head's relatively new. Everything else is, uh, that mirror is not relatively new. What's up, guys? Okay. Let's get out of here before I catch something in the air. All right, and this is your third bedroom. See, that little house from the outside, you guys didn't think it would be a three-bedroom, but it is. I'm not sure what's going on in here. It looks like uh, that was storage for something, shoes, I don't know. And then, I like this, though. Oh. That is how you properly wire a washer and dryer box, just like that. You want to leave it exposed to what is the kitchen on the other side and what seems to be a Husson's pizza box. All right, again, apologize for the low light, but uh, look at all that. Look how thick that dust is. Uh, all right. Needless to say, we did not let a baby girl come in here and play around. This is not the type of house for that. All right, we're back out in the living room now. And we're going to the fun part. Dining room, which I don't know what's laying across the dining room table there. I guess that's how they extended their table. Spice rack. Uh, we'll start that one out at 20 bucks. Again, comment below if you want it. I can ship it to you. You do pay shipping. Remember, this is the frugal investor here. I'm not covering anything. All right. So, uh, an interesting paint color. More cracking. Really old chandelier that's been in every house since 1980. And one box of Life Proof Click. And look, they've already put some of it down. Again, another positive. It goes, okay, it goes halfway into the living room, stops right here. So it's just like, that's weird. Anyway, so that was uh, halfway done, if you can even call it halfway. All right, y'all ready? Let's do it. The kitchen. Bam. Looks like a Chip and Joanna design. Straight out of HGTV, ready to go. This is what's going to sell this house. The two different color cabinets is definitely in style. 
These ceiling fans, these are what I would call chic. Man, those things are nice. Check that out. And they come with the, uh, the dust on the end right there. And that's how you know they're antique. Super nice. So we don't really have to do much in here, if anything. Everything's pretty much done. You know, the uh, the caulking over here, or the, what is that, the insulation spray? That was done really nice. It's so nice when you walk in like this and you don't have to touch it. All these little knickknacks put out nice and organized. Oh my God, there's stuff everywhere. What is that, vape, vape stuff? I'm not gonna say anything. I bet some of you guys vape. I don't wanna make anybody mad in the comments. Um, a brand new bar, brand new jar of jelly. Another good find. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. That's a win. All right. Um, yeah. I don't know what you guys want me to say. Seven thousand dollars. This is kind of what you're gonna get. You do get a new box of hamburger helper as well. There's a lot of small wins in this house, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take those. You know, I'm gonna choose to ignore the rest of it. And I'm gonna take the small wins, and yeah. So what do you guys think? Comment below. If you're liking this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And I'm going to wrap this video up in the kitchen and tell you guys some extra strategies with this particular house. What's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this what I think it is? <gasps> There's probably at least 50% of my audience that has no idea what I'm looking at here. The Dixie Chicks, Travis Tritt, all on tape. This is what we used to put in our cars, people. Hold on, hold on. And our boom boxes, this thing right here. Check it out. Some of you have never seen one of these before. All right, let's wrap this video up. All right, you guys know I like to wrap these up in the kitchen, but there's not enough lighting in there. So I'm going to do it in the, uh, the living room here, the nice, clean living room. But anyway, what I was talking about with a couple extra strategies, what I mean by that is when you go to look at a house or evaluate a house, there's several things you can do with it, not just flip it. Now, if you're just focused on flipping, maybe that's all you can do. But you want to run the numbers on it several different ways. So we could wholesale this. We could flip it. We could hold it as a rental. We could RTO it. There's about four different extra strategies that we have on this house. And that's why we went ahead and scooped it up. Look, you can't really lose on a house for $7,000. There's something we can do with it to make money. Yes, we're going to have to put a little bit of money in it up front just to clean it out. But you're talking about maybe $1,500 to two grand. Get this thing cleaned out so it's presentable to another investor. Really, you don't have to do that, but you will get a better dollar for it if it's cleaned up. So that's what I mean by always having multiple extra strategies. Strategies, and you want to have all those written down and all those numbers when you walk through these houses or do the numbers on all those extra strategies. And that way you don't have to just pass up on a house because it doesn't fit one particular strategy. Real quick, I'm going to put the numbers right here while I'm talking because I don't know them all on the top of my head. But I want you guys to see those because I told you at the beginning of the video I would put those up. But anyway, guys, that will wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, I hope to have a really cool before and after video coming to you guys where our house kind of started out like this, but even worse. And we are now done with it and it's ready to hit the market. They're actually cleaning it today. I'm actually going over there and film it right now. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the next video.